I'm Gabrielle Shirley here with Scott Reynolds from PeterReport.com. Scott, Jameis Winston is making his first home start since that three-game suspension. What can we expect for him against the Browns? Well, hopefully he'll continue completing his passes at a high percentage right now through a game and a half, 75% completion percentage. So he's doing a good job in moving the change, putting points on the board, but he's got to stay away from those interceptions that have plagued him, not just this year, but throughout his career. So if he can go out there and play a perfect or near perfect game, I think the Buccaneers have a pretty good chance to win. This is, it's been a weird Cleveland Browns defense that they've gone up against, right? They, they, you've got some games where, where the Browns have given up 45 points in a 45 to 42 loss to Oakland. They gave up 38 points last week in a, in a big time home loss to the Chargers. But then they've also won a game against the Baltimore Ravens 12 to nine. And they also held the New Orleans Saints to 21 points in a 21-18 loss in week two. So which Browns defense is going to show up? That, that, that's going to play into this. That is a big question. How about the Buccaneers defense? We had a notable injury perhaps with Vinny Curry. What did you see today? Well, we saw Vinny Curry in a cast um, going around on one of those scooters. And that's not good. That, that tells me it's probably a high ankle sprain. We saw Robert Ayers, the former defensive end for the Bucks, have a similar injury and, and use a similar type of, of recuperation technique to you know, not be on that, that, that leg at all. Um, that tells me, even though you know, he's, they haven't made any official declarations yet, they won't do that until Friday, but I don't think he's gonna be playing. If he's in that type of situation right now, I don't think he plays, and also Gerald McCoy uh, got that calf injury that he sustained in the fourth quarter last week. I, I would be very doubtful that, that, that he would play as well. So they might be needing a guy like Carl Nassib, former Cleveland Brown defensive end going up against his old team because they might be, be short a couple guys in that defensive line this week.